I was born in Arlington Heights in 1964, and we moved to Hoffman Estates and stayed there until 1972. My father was a book salesman, my mother was a school teacher, and we were four kids in a three bedroom, one and a half bath uh, duplex. It was like Mayberry, it was like any town America. In 1970, my father started a molding business. So not soon after that, Pops ran into some financial trouble. Uh, he actually came to us and said, we think we're gonna lose the house. So we came out of the bankruptcy in 1972, and in 1976, my father went through a second bankruptcy. That was traumatic because he had really started doing well with the molding business. He said, from this bankruptcy, I will never take on debt again, and I will become a very good steward of my monies. The things that stuck with me that are a big part of my life is absolute total awareness of my financial situation at every moment. I had felt the financial strains. Uh, I had felt the physical strains of moving and doing, and then I felt society's judgments on me. I was a fat kid, and fat kids got bullied, I, I was really beat up. My, my whole life I was judging, and the takeaway of it is that I have huge empathy and compassion for people who are challenged. I have total understanding of what it feels like to be judged or to be victimized. I graduated second to last in my high school class, and my dad never worried about college because he thought I'd go to the Army, and I, I'm not going to the Army. I always want to open a Chicago hot dog stand. So I looked up restaurant equipment, but the price was $45,000. So I said, you know, I can make sandwiches. Got books on baking bread, baked bread in my mother's kitchen. In a week, I came up with a pretty good bread. And I made six sandwiches I liked pretty good. I invited my family over. They all voted on four of them. I rented this pizza joint for $200 a month. So I opened up January 13th, 1983, Charleston, Illinois, four sandwiches on my menu, and that was the original Jimmy John's, and that's how I did it. By the fourth week in that sandwich shop, I'm working from eight in the morning till 2.30 in the morning. I'm knowing my customers, I'm loving it, and I couldn't believe, I, most amazing discovery that I made was I could do it. The American dream is the pursuit of happiness. The pursuit of freedom, the pursuit of, of your dreams, as you can do whatever you're willing to do. Becoming a, a member of the Horatio Alger Association is truly, truly an honor. And um, I'm really taken aback and blown away and, and appreciative. And um, it's a real big deal to me, and, and thank you.